Dan Crenshaw is a Republican politician from the state of Texas, and he put out an ad in support of the two Republicans participating in the runoff races in Georgia, Kelly Loeffler and David Perdue. And the ad that he released is a sequel to an ad that he released previously in this election cycle. But this one, it might be even more over the top. But when you see this, you're going to be shocked at how much of a joke it is. Like, it's so cringeworthy, it is going to make you have an out-of-body experience. I'm not going to say anything else. Just take a look. The American story is one of true exceptionalism. It's built on the greatest ideas in history. This victory tonight, it's about you. It's about defining those. Sorry, folks. I'll be right back. What do we got? Well, it's not over in Georgia. The Senate races went to a runoff. What are we up against? You'll never believe this. Far-left activists are attempting to gain full and total control of the U.S. government. That we secure a, a Democratic Senate majority so that we don't have to negotiate in that way. Should these Senate seats be lost, all will be lost. You supported the Green New Deal. You supported Medicare for all. <laughs> yeah. Your mission will be to rally support across Georgia behind these American patriots, Senator Perdue and Senator Leffler. They must win. What's our situation on the ground? We have two patriots down there, Senator Loeffler and Senator Perdue. Great fighters with a great message. They just need a little backup. Last question, who do you want to bring? Bring everyone. What's the situation at the LZ? Good evening, sir. Rather lovely form, if I may say so. But we do have a small problem at the landing zone. So-called anti-fascists, an ironic term given their propensity to, well, act like fascists, are patrolling the area. Recommend we shift north three kilometers. How does that sound? Negative. I want to say hello to the greeting party. What's the bearing? Always one for a bit of drama. 90 degrees from your current heading. Be well, sir. Man, where is this guy? Yeah, dude, it's gonna be dark soon. Where is that pirate? All right. I don't even know why I'm so angry, you know? Oh, the news told us to be. So I, <laughs> I may have made a few modifications to that ad. <laughs> I am a child. Um, so <laughs> still not over it. <laughs> um, I, I said this on Twitter, but I'm going to say it again here because I think it's a really good point not to toot my own horn. But if you've ever been on the subreddit, I am very badass. Dan Crenshaw or Crenshaw, as I think we should call him. Basically, he's the personification of every single post on that subreddit. He just, like, has this opinion of himself that's way higher than any normal person would think of themselves. Like, he wants you to believe that he's a superhero when you're just a corrupt politician who's not very versed on specific policies. Like, if you watched his interview with Joe Rogan, him trying to explain healthcare policy, like, he's completely out of his league. And even Joe Rogan was able to, like make him look like a dunce and you're you're a policymaker you're a lawmaker so you should know these things but he couldn't even get like his own right wing talking points in order so it's just when i see him he's not a boomer but i think boomer like he has that boomer mindset um and some boomers are great like i don't want to generalize and say that all boomers are terrible but this dude like he he has this really weird like antiquated view of himself like i'm a superhero but what's interesting is that 
like in the same week he released this ad where he really wants you to think that he's a superhero, we learned that he's actually kind of a shady person. So we'll get to that and the other news surrounding him, but there's a couple things that I want to touch on regarding this ad. Um, so, quote, far left activists are attempting to gain full and total control of the U.S. Senate. He then cuts to a picture of Chuck Schumer. Chuck Schumer, far left activist, not basically moderate Republican. I mean, these folks are so out of touch. You know, when you're that far to the right, everyone who is a centrist, you know, or left of center, they're going to look like radicals because you're the one who's the radical. You're the one who's too far to the right. Uh, also, you have uh, Purdue and Loeffler who are great fighters with a great message. That was a quote from the ad. What's their message? I haven't heard anything from them. Uh, the only thing that I've heard from them is that socialism bad. But what exactly are they going to do for their constituents? Like, why are they great fighters? What's their message? They don't even have a co cohesive message, just socialism bad. So that's a platitude. Also, uh, I've got a comment on the Antifa caricatures. Um, this, mo this line literally made me laugh out loud because it's so corny. Uh, I don't even know why I'm so angry. Because the news told us to be. Dan, <laughs> this is this needs to stop. You're not a super superhero, um, and if you are a superhero, then you're not like Captain America. You're kind of more like um, the super superheroes that we see from the boys. You're more like Homelander, not Captain America. Because as Ramsey Touchberry of Newsweek reports, following an independent government watchdog report that linked Representative Dan Crenshaw to a smear campaign of a female veteran, at least two Democratic lawmakers are calling for a congressional ethics probe into his alleged role. Last week's report from the Veterans Affair Inspector General said that, based on witness testimonies and documents, Crenshaw participated in an effort led by VA Secretary Robert Wilkie and some of his top deputies to disparage the reputation and credibility of a woman who said she was sexually assaulted last year at a VA facility. The IG report said no criminal evidence was found, but that some of its investigation could not be completed, in part because Crenshaw and others refused to cooperate. However, it said that attempts by Wilkie, top VA officials, and Crenshaw to erode the female veteran's credibility by creating a narrative that she has made false sexual assault claims in the past were unprofessional and disparaging. Crenshaw, a former Navy SEAL, served with the woman, Andrea Goldstein. Last month, Crenshaw vehemently denied to Newsweek that he ever discussed Goldstein with Wilkie, but an internal email from Wilkie to top VA officials suggested otherwise, with the secretary himself claiming that Crenshaw approached him at an event to discuss Goldstein and her allegations. Top department officials also told the IG that Wilkie had indicated Crenshaw passed along information about Goldstein. So you're no hero, my dude. You're a shitty person. Person. You're Homelander. Because you, someone who is supposed to look out for the troops since you're a veteran yourself, you're smearing someone. You're smearing a woman because she came forward with sexual assault allegations. Like, that makes you one of the shittiest people imaginable, like one of the worst members of Congress. That's disgusting, and you can deny it all you want, but there's evidence to prove that you were involved in this. Now, nobody's alleging that there's criminal activity here, but this just speaks to your character. You want everyone to think of you as a hero, but you are a terrible person. Smearing a female veteran who came forward with sexual assault. Like, this is an issue. And you should be compassionate because this is a fellow member of the military. You, you served with her, you knew her, but yet you're smearing her. Like, this is disgusting. This is absolutely grotesque. So, I don't want you to, you know, uh, think of Dan Crenshaw in the way that he wants you to think of him, as this badass hero who is super cool because he goes skydiving. No, dude, you look like, you know, a dad who's going through a midlife crisis who cheats on his wife, but in actuality, you're not very cool, you're a piece of shit, you're a smear merchant, and you're a bad person. Like, that's, I don't know what else to say about it. Dan Crenshaw is a shitty person, and um, he's also extremely cringeworthy, and his opinion of himself is way, way too high. Beta male, not a beta male.